Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick video here on uh, the seasons for assignment 3.03. Um, I know many of you have turned this in already, but uh, I'm just now grading this over winter break and um, just wanted to make sure that there's a couple of misconceptions that we clear up. So first of all, um, the dark blue line here on my globe is the equator, okay? That is the center of the globe from north to south, basically. Um, and usually that is the point that's facing the sun most directly most of the year. Um, just above that, we have the Tropic of Cancer right up here. And down here, we have the Tropic of Capricorn, okay? These lines, the tropics, are what are facing the sun um, in the north. This Tropic of Cancer faces the sun most directly on June 21st, which is the longest day of the year or the summer solstice. And the Tropic of Cancer faces the sun most directly on December 21st. So we just passed that. Um, now, I've made a little model here with my lamp, kind of Hard to see my lamp. My lamp is much smaller <laughs> than my Earth, which is not really accurate, and it's also obviously very close, which is also not accurate. But you get the idea. This is the what I want you to see is the angle of the sunlight as it's hitting the Earth here. So let's take a look at during a the equinox. That's when the the tilt of the Earth relative to the sun is not really. At any angle towards or away because as you can see the the tilt of the earth the north is tilted oh, that way kind of perpendicular to the sun so from the sun's perspective we're over here from the sun's perspective we're seeing you know the earth tilted to the right so the north and the south are basically getting the same amount of sunlight okay and we can see this if we look at where this line the equator comes around and Basically, this bottom black line here is kind of the uh, the line directly to the, the, the sun here. So that's hitting pretty much more or less right on the equator. Now, if we tilt and we are orbiting the sun and our tilt changes now, we're changing where we're tilting away from the sun. So this would be just what happened during the winter solstice on December 21st. Then... The northern half of the Earth is getting much less direct sunlight, right? The sun's angle is hitting it really kind of a glancing angle. So if you're standing here, oh, I don't know, from somewhere in Asia, right? The sun's hitting at a really steep angle. So it's it's uh, not lighting up the surface of the Earth very much. That's why right now, if you look at the sun when it's not very <laughs> cloudy outside, you can see that the sun is always really low in the sky. It's always really low to the south. That's because the north is tilted away from it, just like this. And so by the time uh, Oregon orbits around, or orbits, rotates around here um, in the daylight hours, right, the sun's always, from our perspective, when we're looking south here, it's always really low in the sky. All right. Now, the other thing I want you to see here is the tropics. Now, on December 21st, we said the Tropic of Capricorn right here is now in the line directly facing the sun. So this part of the earth is getting the most direct sunlight, so it's the warmest. And of course, everything down in the south is getting much more direct sunlight. So they're down here in Australia, South America, Southern Africa, these places are getting much more direct sunlight, okay? In fact, Australia is getting really the most direct sunlight because Australia is right on the Tropic of Capricorn, where to go? Uh, right here, I believe. So, oh no, it's right there, right there. So the middle of Australia is getting nailed with sunlight right now, actually. And so now if we orbit around and we orbit so that the Earth is now on the opposite side of the sun that it was in the winter for us, now it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, so this would be like June 21st. And our North Pole is tilted more directly towards the sun. So the Northern Hemisphere is getting a lot more direct sunlight. We're not getting nailed as directly as, say, Australia was. But uh, that's why it's usually hotter in Australia than it is in most of North America. But we are getting a lot more direct sunlight. And now the Tropic of Cancer right here 
is right in this line where it's getting the most direct sunlight. So that runs basically right down here through Mexico. And so Mexico is getting the same sunlight energy that Australia was getting, the middle of Australia was getting in um, their summer, which was December, which is right now. So hope this makes sense. Um, hope it makes sense to see what the tropics really mean. And it's just, if we, if we turn this, we can see that the, that the angle of the sunlight changes as the earth orbits, right? Now it's in the Tropic of Capricorn. And as it comes back around, as it's orbiting, it's going to be back in the Tropic of Cancer again. And so sunlight really changes uh, its direct hit on the earth between these two points. So, so um, its most direct point fluctuates between these two points right here as the earth orbits around. Hope that makes sense. Hope that clears up some misconceptions.